By the way, can you tell me about the Wudong Mountains in China? Wudong. Wudong. Wudong Mountains. It's a famous Taoist mountains. And uh, it says like, yeah, well, what can you tell about them? There's a feeling of it being safeguarded. There's a feeling that there are certain things within particular caverns that are being kind of blocked away. Uh, I feel that a lot of it relates to apertures that are actually being uh, directly accessible to other particular beings that live internally through the Earth. But many of the mountains, one of the, some of the very large mountains upon the planet, have previously been utilized as bases or command centers in regards to extraterrestrial strongholds that once existed. So I feel that Wudong Mountain, in the energies it's presenting right now, has held quite a few secrets. Uh, some of it even relates to treasures. Uh, some of it even relates to deeper caverns relating to very large crystals. Uh, it feels like there's technology that like very, very deep under the mountain, uh, as well as particular former uh, extraterrestrial strongholds that once existed within the uh, precipice of this mountain. Huh. You mean like they're in 3D or the strongholds? They're the third... uh, try not to think of it in the way of dimension. Try and just think of it in the way of placement from what we can familiarize interlaying our own dimension with something cohesive as their dimension because much of them were third slash fourth density but they were able to manipulate matter in regards to their construction it was all brought forward through holographic light that literally enabled their creation everything was literally holographically created deep inside the mountains because this was the greatest site so to speak that would prevent themselves from being discovered as they observed much of what humanity was going through in the earlier times, and they would utilize these things as monitoring stations, strongholds in that sense, all created through holography that was often mistook as mysterious storms. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fog, and it's very mm -hmm. mysterious. From yeah, what, I'm getting, uh, what the mountain itself is telling me. <laughs> okay, and what about its relation to uh, Taoists? Because it says that, like I was studying their qi, Qigong, and um, they're very strong lineage of the Qigong masters. Yes. And they say that this is a particular place where you go and you study. And yep. I was actually going up to the mountains and uh, having this kind of a... was more closer to the dimension of the higher dimension, so to say. Mm. Well, Dallas represent this particular sacred lineage in regards to what has been shared with man generations past that allow much in regards to the teachings of the faith to become coherent with what was being shared in regards to other beings that were off-world. Much in regards to the original faiths that had been untainted were all literally handed down to man by beings beyond world. Oh, beings beyond world. Yeah. So you mean these... <clears throat> so the, does that mean that those teachings probably that I was studying well, there... It would, really, it would really entail receiving information from the highest clerics of that faith many of the initiates themselves would not really know the true story. You'd really have to go up the lineage as high as you can. And much of this is preserved in regards not only to texts, but in regards to chrysalises. In regards to what? Chrysalises, what you would know as crystals. Crystals, you mean? It's very similar to what the Maya and many other civilizations did in regards to their crystal skulls. Is that much in the preservation of their ancient masters have been imbued through consciousness contained within the vessel of crystals. Or the chrysalis itself and so much in regards to that higher lineage is preserved through the ways of crystals not through the way of anything that could be documented or created through text as that can always break or it can always deteriorate so something in regards to a longer preservation actually through the way of consciousness has been imbued through much of the vessels of the crystals and again this is where much of the wudong mountains themselves can focus a lot of that energy buried deep within the mountain relating to these deeper caverns of crystal vaults Sweet. Okay. So it's almost like a matrix contained within a library that was being brought forward and utilized by many of these other particular beings associated with this mountain, kept within the catacombs of these caverns and chrysalises. Hmm. To which then much of that knowledge had been handed down through the Tao, through the lineages themselves. And that bloodline was important to remain as much purification through the original concept as possible in regards to the association of proper bloodline management. Yeah, that's that's what that's how it is there. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> so I guess if I would like to get a glimpse of some of the knowledge inside of the mountain, 
any specific way I can interact with that? The only direct way you can do it is literally associating with the mountain itself, because many of the followers, so to speak, within the DAO have very secretive or very tight-lipped about this. So the real only way is that literally going upon the mountain in any way you wish, uh, you know, whether climbing up to the summit or around the areas of the mountain and just meditating and just allowing much of these questions that have been shared through me to come forward and allow the mountain itself to communicate with you in regards to much of its knowledge. But again, it's, 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 again, it's all about a calibration of vibration that you really only get to know what you need to know at the point of the beginning of the conversation. Okay, so the... As I understand, the mountain itself is like um, it has a spirit. Communicating with the mountain would be meaning communicating with the energy of the I don't know the total totalness of all the energies inside the mountain. Or how does well, it... the mountains the mountains are oversouls of many different elemental spirits, and that's yeah. what they represent. That the mountain sides, that everything that represents the great masses, uh, are all part of imbued spirits contained within oversoul principles. So much of the great spirits of the mountains, and that's why many of the ancient tribes always consider you know, mountains in the highest respect, because they truly hold the knowledge contained within their gigantic mass that is you know, literally worshipped by many beings. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to check us out on ayouselfempowered.com for conscious matrix communication, private sessions, either by Skype, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, or through email readings as well to you, a new service that has been brought forward, Akashic Perspective sessions in regards to knowing more about your life stream, past lives, future lives, helping you to understand more of the facets relating to your whole being. Body regeneration healing sessions, helping to repair organs, helping to repair other aspects of your body, anything physical, anything energetic, as well as enhancements as well too. And of course, digital download courses that you can uh, grab online as well too, all through areyouselfempowered.com. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to talking to you very soon. Much love. Namaste.